Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. On today's show, we're bringing you coverage of graphic design and the Cyber Patriots. Following that, we have an in-studio guest, coverage on how sports closed with their seasons and the five things you missed with Connor. Let's get started. The e-communication program provides several opportunities to discover your capabilities and get a head start on your career. Let's take it to Elena Gray for more. Most seniors are only beginning the process of determining a career path to pursue in college. On the other hand, some senior graphic design students are already working on projects for clients around Kansas. Emily Day, a senior graphic design student, explains the advantages. But now I know how to communicate with clients better and how to like get the product that they want and the look that they want. So that's probably the biggest is experience. Graphic design students are a valuable resource to clubs and programs around the school. One of Day's frequent clients is the Olathe Northwest Varsity Cheerleading Squad. Christy Lemansky, head cheer coach, utilizes the graphic design skills that the communications program provides. Just a tremendous amount of different things that people in the building are wanting to wanting to do, and it's you don't have to go out outside. You can have it all done in house, um, and that's nice. And it gives the kids that real world experience. Besides Raven Apparel, the graphic design department also creates posters, flyers, and even our student planners, along with other projects for the community. Next time you see a poster for the musical, or use your planner, or even buy a cool t-shirt, remember that your fellow peers created those ideas. For Pedro Von Simpson, this has been Elena Gray. Now back to the desk. Computer viruses can be very annoying. The cyber patriots have been working to prevent this on certain websites. Let's take it to Sean McPartland for the details. Have you ever wondered how secure your technology is from the rest of the world? Well, the Cyber Patriots have, and they take cybersecurity seriously. Mrs. Riegert is the coach for ONW Cyber Patriots team. The Cyber Patriot is the National Youth High School Cyber Security Competition that is put together and sponsored by the Air Force Association. Sarah Schmidt encourages other students to join Cyber Patriots, even if they aren't experts with computers. Cyber Patriots is a great way to start because we don't just do cybersecurity. Sometimes we'll take a break and we'll do coding or we'll do networking. That's also part of Cyber Patriots. The skills that are taught in Cyber Patriots are hard to come by, but through the education program, students learn about cybersecurity systems. I think people should join Cyber Patriot because it's not something that's available in normal curriculums and it gives real experience for value, valuable jobs that will be increasing in popularity in the future. Many students in Cyber Patriot plan on pursuing a career that involves computer science and cybersecurity. The skills that you learn in the Cyber Patriot game and competition are real life work skills you can put on your resume, take to a job and say, I know how to do this. If you are interested in Cyber Patriots, talk to Mrs. Rieger in room 2129. For ONW Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. My name is Tiaja Holt and I'm here with Devin Prock who is going to tell us about his Eagle Scout project that he's doing. Yeah, uh, I will be sending pocket flags to send to military personnel serving overseas for our country. Okay. Um, how do you plan to accomplish this? I plan on having a work day here on March 14th, this Saturday, in the Flex Theater where people can just come in and sit down and fold some flags. How many flags will there be in all? 3,000. And how can fellow Ravens help? Uh, any time that you guys can come in, it would be great because I need as much help as I can get. You, there will be music and food, and they, this is one big social event. You can just come in and help out. Thanks for coming in, Devin. Thank now you. back to the desk. Make sure to come out this Saturday anytime between 12 to 4 to be a part of reaching this goal. Now let's take it to Game Day Northwest for updates on Raven Athletics. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. My name is Joe Kaliga alongside Alex Kegel. Today we have coverage of the girls and guys sub-state basketball, bowling and dance team. Let's get started.
The bowling team sent Mackenzie Saunier, Alex Giffen, and Nathan DeMars to state last week. Saunier placed third overall, while DeMars placed 29th. Congratulations to the team on their successful season. The girls' basketball team played Blue Valley High last Thursday in the first round of Substate. Here's the recap. Raven dance team went to nationals in Florida this past weekend with high expectations. They met those expectations by bringing home their fourth straight national championship, this time in large varsity palm division. Congratulations, ladies. Last Friday, the boys basketball team played the number one seed Olathe East Hawks for a berth in the state tournament. Here's Brennan Wolford with the recap. Last Friday night, Olathe Northwest traveled to Olathe East in their second game of the sub-state tournament. The Ravens had a great crowd out to watch the Ravens hopefully shatter the four-year losing streak against the Hawks in sub-state play. East started the game shooting lights out, quickly going up 11-0 to start the game. But Northwest wasn't going to go down without a fight by hitting several key shots to keep the game close. Yet, Olathe East was relentless in their offensive attack. The two teams battled out all game long, but the Hawks maintained the lead all night. The Hawks proved too much for the Ravens, winning by 10, 70 to 60. This has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the studio. That's all we have for this week, Ravens. For Alex Kegel, I'm Joe Kaliga. Now back to the desk. If you're feeling like you've been out of the loop, worry no more. Connor Bickford will fill you in on the five things you missed this past week. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Connor. You guys remember me cooking with Connor, right? Nope. Oh, okay. All right, so we're doing a new thing, and here's five things you missed with me, Connor. Five things with Connor. I had to sing my own intro. Oh, we work on. <laughs> so this past Sunday, March 8th, was International Women's Day, and it's pretty much in the name. It celebrated women and whatnot and all that jazz. Coincidentally, it was daylight savings. We lost an hour. It was the shortest day of the year, so you connect the dots. The second thing we're going to talk about is the dress. Is it blue and black, or is it white and gold? Well, the designer, Roman Originals came out and said that it is blue and black. So to all those people who still think it's white and gold, you're wrong! So aside from all the funny stuff, congratulations to our Raven dance team who won four straight national championships. I, I can't even, I can't even dance. The best thing I can probably do is like a little shimmy shake. So in recent news, Apple came out with a new Apple Watch and it comes in three designs. The gold-plated design costs $17,000. 
I don't even have that much money to my name. Who's gonna Who's gonna buy the watch? Bill Gates? Obama? Probably. Just how? It's ridiculous. Just. And the fifth and final thing is, after spring break, we're adding two new shows on Mondays and Fridays. So if you guys like this segment, tune into those shows. And yeah, so. See you later. Okay, bye. Five things with Connor. I had to sing my own intro. Oh, we work on. Thanks, Connor. Finally, there will be a basketball tournament March 31st after school. Sign-up suite will be held during lunch the week of March 24th through the 27th. It will be $5 per person with a max of five players per team. If you have any questions, please contact any RFC member. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of ONW Now. For Elena Gray, I'm Pedro Von Simpson. Have a fantastic day and a great spring break, Ravens.